Okay, we have a lot of Kristens in here. Wow. It was Kristen and Kristen. And then I think I see another Kristen and tune in. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Betty is going to make a quick appearance. We had a, a request. So she's going to say hi for like two seconds before we get started. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, you're shy. Come here. She's been biting my feet all day. Come here. Come here. There you go. All right. Everybody say hi to Betty. Betty's got her watermelon dress on today. Look at the dress. Isn't she cute? She's gained like four pounds in two weeks. Can you say hi? Say hi. Tell everybody hi. Yes. Isn't she cute? Look at the wrinkles. Do you got wrinkles? Do you got wrinkles? You got wrinkles. Oh. Hey, y'all. Oh, yeah. I don't get dressed for nothing. I get dressed for lives. That's all I get dressed for. And all these lights. It's so hot in here. But you're lucky. I'm going to put up my big Texas hair. And we can get started. We have, we, a lot of us have shirts like this, right? Thanks to COVID, I got a size big for a reason. All right. I know, she's cute. Betty is the, the new Stu Magnolia mascot. Huh. Ain't ya. Ain't ya. She's all set up with her little bed. She's going to hang out for the live. Um, first, let's see. We're going to take a tour. So the Magnolia room is officially done, okay? Yes, she'll be a TumblrCon mascot too. She's gonna be at, she's everywhere I am, y'all. She's riding in the Jeep with the doors off. Granted, she's all zipped up in her little bag, but she's gonna be a Jeep dog. She's gonna be a warehouse dog. She's gonna be a TumblrCon dog. She's gonna be a woman of all trades. Um, okay, so Magnolia room is done. I wish you would see the pile of cups that I still have to clean, right? Because, yeah, there are cups there from like a year and a half ago that I start and I never finish. Yeah, I finished them all. I finished all my cups, like all 100 of them, okay? <laughs> so I think, so I don't know if any of y'all know this, so I used to have my own little business. It's called Lil Hams in a Cup, L-I-L, okay, Lil Hams, right? Because Hamilton Hams. That was my business name before we started Steel Magnolia. And I think I'm going to put them up on littlehamsinacup.com and just start selling all the ones that I make in all my tutorials. So I might give some away too. Why not give some away? But for the rest of you who have not been local and woo, have not seen the Magnolia Room, we're going to give you a full tour before we get started here today. Okay, first of all, don't judge this room because I stockpiled some stuff in here. So this is our pickup room, okay? So if you guys ever are local and you order um, your pickup, your order, it'll be right here, okay? Um, remember these Bukus of Cups I told you that I started and never finished? Well, here's part of them, okay? <laughs> They're like three deep back there, 40. Um, here's a whole, whoop, Betty, here's a whole, I'm sorry, I'm turned backwards, so it's here. Whole nother thing, okay, whole nother shelf, lots of cups, y'all, lots of cups. Betty Boom, come on, come on, let's go, come on, sorry, she's in there, come on, let's go, turn around, say come on, Betty, come on, Betty, get Betty, come on, okay, all right, and now, y'all, the grand finale, the Magnolia Room. What, what? If y'all went to TumblrCon, you know, my pretty little sign over there, right? Okay, over here we have just stuff, right? This is all from my craft room at home. I brought everything here, okay? I've got jars of like the little light bulbs. Do y'all remember the, for Christmas, your, um, your lights? We got like dragon eyes. We got, we got all, y'all, look at the bling. I got like a cart and a half full of bling. Yes. Hi, princess. OK, 
okay all the pretty bling woo, woo. um of course alcohol ink we've got heat guns and heaters and oh there's still more steel magnolia uh we're gonna use those today actually um sanding blocks measuring cups y'all of course the glitter wall so if you come into and so we're renting this space out okay if you guys want to host an event we're your people because you go somewhere else and you try to rent an event and or a place and you're like hey guys i'm going to use glitter no 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 we don't allow glitter okay i love glitter i have a ton of glitter you can get glitter anywhere you want here okay we know how glitter works so if you ever need a place to host an event now if you want just the room go for it if you want like a package where you want to like use my glitter and my cups and all that we'll work up a nice little deal out for you so here is glitter wall and even the drawers down here y'all we have glitter from all kinds of different suppliers because we get all these glitter companies that are like hey let's send samples okay so we have so many glitters and you can try them all out right before you buy them so tonight so what did we last time we used glitter guy which there's big things coming for glitter guy sorry you did not hear that um but tonight we're going to use vixen okay um vixen glitter company has sent us some samples and i've used them and i love them actually I need to pull them out so pull them out with me I had them all put together there we go so we are pulling out all this glitter that we're going to use for tonight so I'll come back and grab that rest of the magnolia room y'all there's so much stuff so we've got mica powders okay down here we've got Sorry, I'm, my phone's backwards. So we have more alcohol inks. We've got tons of dispersion colors. Quick coat, tacket, paints, washi tapes, armor arts, y'all, we got it all. There are 36 tumblers, or sorry, tumblers, turners, okay? 36 turners. Um, there's basically a station, as you can see, um, here's a station. There's each station, there's eight of them, and each person gets three turners, and they've got two outlets. And if you're over 30 like me, you need lots of light, okay? I don't know if you can see all the light in here that I need. I need so much light. There's just light everywhere, okay? Because that's what happens when you get old and you can't see things. <laughs> so that is inside the Magnolia room. If you go outside, it's the warehouse, y'all. Okay, don't judge. It is totally the warehouse. There's the warehouse vehicle, okay? Um, yes, that's a playpen. That's where Betty goes. But you are in the warehouse, okay? You have so many cups. Um, over here is all of the cups, you know, grab one, go inside, start making. Um, out here, we have all the spray paints. We have hydro dips. We have the, the spray paint. Um, dipping we have all the spray booths okay um and then y'all ignore my mess this is my that's my mess don't ignore that okay um we were washing mats today here's this is my my pile that i was telling you about at the beginning y'all of the cups i finished yeah those are the ones i haven't finished yet and over here's my handy dandy new little light studio okay so when you're done you can take pictures of your cup and that's how I got it to look floating, right? Change your, your thing. Y'all, it's amazing. Okay, so that's the Magnolia room. You are in a warehouse, it is hot, okay? Um, I have my silhouette here. We can hook you up, bring a laptop, and we'll hook you up to uh, the silhouette. Um, I know I saw on here about the storefront. So yes, we have a storefront, sort of. Um, you're able to, let me put you back up here. Hold on. Okay. Yo, it's hot. Woo, hot. All these lights. Um, so you're able to come in, place your order, pick it up. Now, this is what we call warehouse two, okay? 
Across the street, we have Warehouse 1, which is where everybody works, packs, that sort of stuff. And then we have Warehouse 3 in the back, which is just even more overstock, right? So we have three total warehouses, all on the same street. These two are across the street from the one. Hey, quit biting my feet. Um, so, yes, you can come in, you can place an order. It'll take us a few minutes to pack. Um, I just gotta tell them over there to pack it. They bring it over here, okay? Um, I'm trying to catch up on comments here. I wish I lived closer. Yeah, so we're going to try to do, um, I know things are crazy with COVID right now and I totally want to do another Tumblr con and we're going to, okay? Um, but in the meantime, now that we have the Magnolia room, I'm thinking we do small little get together, small little parties. Um, I don't know if we'll make a whole weekend event. That's a lot. <laughs> but I mean, we totally could if we wanted to, all right? So that's all the fun stuff coming up. We're gonna start scheduling classes. The first one I wanna do, um, I actually have a lot of people who've never made a cup in their life uh, that wanna come learn. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, trying to read all your comments. Um, I'm in what's Forney, Texas. So we're east of Dallas, um, just a few minutes, not, not too far, and we're right off the highway. Um, so it's not a lot of back roads or anything like that. Okay. All right. So, Vixen Glitter. Ooh, let me get my Vixen Glitter. I left it sitting over there. Yep, five minutes, pack your order. Super quick, y'all. Oh, and if you've never... Here, <laughs> she makes a valid point. She rang our bell while we were next door eating. Sorry. <laughs> much I never said y'all so just in case y'all didn't know I'm from Cincinnati Ohio where we said you guys and it took about a month of living in Texas before I was y'all now it's all y'all I should have yeah yeah okay so vixen glitter but first let's talk about what cups we're doing tonight so we're doing prepped cups um what I love about prepped cups is they're prepped okay so a little bit of science for you so each cup to make a cup goes through like 27 steps to make a cup um, one of the final steps is they put it in this little machine and it polishes it okay the polish is what you do when you prep a cup now we're gonna have a little taboo moment here okay I don't sand my cups but I know a lot of you do, which is totally okay. <laughs> do it or don't do it, whatever. Um, but these don't need sanded because when you sand, you're trying to get off like the polish and all the stuff that makes it a slippery surface. When it's raw steel, it's already kind of got that, that rough texture to it because it, it's not been polished yet, okay? Um, so instead of sending this to the polish people, and I wish I, ha I have a video. I don't have a way to show you it though. Um, where it shows how they make these. Like they just put it on this little machine, right? And there's got like a hook and it sits on there and someone like sprays it and it turns white, okay? And then somebody else has like another little hook and like flips it off. Like it's really cool. Like they're super fast at it. Um, so no sanding needed. You can spray paint over it, which is what we're gonna do tonight. This right here, okay, is just spray paint. I cut it in half and I spray painted it. Um, yeah, same glitter, not same glitter, um, which is the Halo, I'm gonna show you right here. The Halo, okay, that's Halo, and that's what is on this entire cup. But I spray painted it. So yes, prepped cups can be spray painted. They can also be inked, which, if you went to TumblrCon and you had your little dipper dapper, um, 
you realized we had all prepped cups. Well, most of them were prepped um, and you can do that. They cannot be sublimated. So let's talk about sublimation. I know I get, this is starting to get a big uh, trend going here. Um, we got samples from our supplier. So let's back up. So sublimation just needs a special coating that will absorb your inks when you put heat onto them, okay? These don't, white prep cups are just painted. They're not the special coating on top. They cannot be sublimated. I've gotten samples from our supplier for the sublimation cups. I wasn't in love with them. I sent it to a few people who I consider experts, right, um, on sublimating, and they had a really hard time getting a nice, even, um, <clears throat> excuse me, coat, like, uh, what do you call it? Like the, the inks was splotchy, right? It didn't, it didn't make it nice and neat. So I've got to find a better solution to sublimation, but no, these are not sublimated. Um, if you do back up, sorry, time out, running around. Um, they're, they're technically spray painted. They're, they're not powder coated. Um, <clears throat> but they're not really spray painted either. So I mean, I don't have any over here. So a lot of people from TumblrCon, they wanted to strip their cup and they couldn't, they couldn't get this off. It's stuck on there y'all. Um, I have heard some people that they had no problem, but I heard a lot more people say they can't get this off. Okay. It's on there. Um, I do still suggest putting something on top. I mean, I sent one to my grandma and she doesn't have epoxy on it and she's never said she had an issue with it but I don't know I don't I don't trust it I wouldn't I mean, it, it's on there though y'all it's on there it's on there so, yeah. so okay yeah I guess more primed right so sorry y'all it is hot um you work with crystal lac without having to take the whole coating I mean you wouldn't have to do the gas off period um, I've never prepped concrete floors so I'm not sure yes they work with crystal lac so my kids cups um, for school this year I did the 24 plumps and I added some hydro fits um, lids yeah I, I use prep cups and they I wanted the matte finish so I used crystal lac for them and then all of a sudden this whole we got to talk about that too the whole sanding thing came out um whoa 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 amy alpert you're from milford like milford ohio like milford high school where i went until i was in 10th i moved here in 10th grade milford high school oh my gosh yes i know milford i lived off of 131 like i hope that's the same milford but yes that's me okay sorry going through out here um yeah so stay tuned today because i'm going to give you at the end of this a coupon code for prepped cups okay good deal too because basically i prep them for free maybe even more i prep them for even more like i'm paying you so i can prep your cups like that's how good this is so stay tuned stay tuned for that um yes i can spray paint over it that's what we're gonna do today i hate prepping yeah i know gas off so when you're using crystal lac you have to let things gas off um, you have to let them sit for 48 out was it 24 or 48 I don't remember I haven't used crystal lac um, basically since my tutorial um, okay I'm scrolling down Amy oh my gosh that's so awesome small world okay all right guys what's next let's talk about all the prep ones we have so True 32, which I'm going to work with tonight. Um, the True 32, y'all, I love you. I guys, I love you. Inside your cup, whether you get push lid or screw lid, you are going to have the threads, okay? If you order push lids, you're still getting the threads, okay? <laughs> We've had a lot of emails go, oh, I think I got the wrong cup. No, you didn't get the wrong cup. They all have threads. So I designed these cups, y'all. So. Backstory, a little more. Some of y'all know this. I was a math teacher, okay? Um, high school math teacher, I have a degree in math. Um, it's adorable because for instance, spoiler alert, 
Um, I'm working on, and I think I've told some of you this, our 24 ounce travel mug. Yes, yes. And the nerd in me goes, okay, well, I know that the bottom can't be bigger than this or it won't fit into a cup holder, okay? So I measure that out, I find the volume. Then I'm like, okay, well, let's work backwards. I need 24 ounces, subtract this ounces. I know how many ounces I have left. And I know my diameter because it's gotta fit a lid, right? So I now need to find my height. So the nerd in me enjoys designing cups, y'all. And this is one of the patent pending ones. Um, it should be coming through any time now. But this is the True 32, holds 32 ounces under the lid. And y'all, it's prepped. Great thing about this, straight. This top five inches is straight. So if you wanna wrap something around here and do a little ombre, right? It's the perfect cup because it's straight, okay? All right, this bad mama jamma is the first pump that was ever designed. It's 32 ounces, again, under the lid, should fit in most cup holders, okay? There's the Now, let's talk about these. The 24 plump, which is, again, okay. 24 plump, slim, 20 ounce slim. Now. Other companies call this the skinny. Yes, it's the same, okay? 20 on slim, 20 on skinny. We're just trying to be different, right? These are a generic cup, okay? They do have the little disc on the bottom. That is where it is sealed, okay, the vacuum sealed. And they're covering up the ugly little spot, okay? It is tapered, y'all, tapered. It's not straight all the way down. This, is straight. Plumps are straight. I designed them. I made them straight because I'm a cup maker. I know how important straight sides are. So the sides are straight. It also has a different lid, right? Because like I said, they have threads in them. You can choose whether you want a push lid or a screw lid, okay? And now, I know I've done a video on this. Let's do it again. The correct way to put a lid on is not straight down. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're rolling this. You're going to wear it out sooner. You're not getting a good seal. When you put your lid on, right? Just barely on, right? Give it a little twist, just a little twist, a little baby twist. Okay, proper way to do it. So here's the difference in the lids. This one's straight, this one's tapered. Not a lot of difference, y'all. So when you're looking at the top and the bottom, the top, they're about the same, okay? The bottom is different because the bottom, this one is straight, this one tapers okay but all in all they're very similar cups and to prove that to you I have two designed exactly the same can you tell which is which can you when you look at the bottom you can because that is a slim that is a plump you can tell by the lids as well okay very similar so that is the difference between the plump and the slim all right the rest of our plump collection, or sorry, prepped collections, we have the Junior, 16 ounce Junior, okay? And we have the True 22, which is like, kind of like the mother load, right? Everybody, it's the standard. Um, we have the Shorty, okay, 12 ounce Shorty. Now, these do not have our lid on them. Um, this has a standard 20 ounce lid, and then this has the spill proof 20 ounce lid. Um, now, the white travel mugs are not currently on the website, but they will be tonight. So we found a small batch of them and we're gonna put them on there. So if you like travel or morning mugs and you need a prepped one, right? Cause the handle, look y'all, nice painted handle. Ooh, yeah. Okay, limited supply. We're gonna put them up later tonight, okay? Shorty morning mug. Now, today, we are going to be working with the, this is plump 24 ounce, okay? And this is the true 32. All right, what we're doing today is, first let's tape this bad boy off. I'm gonna tilt you down now, y'all, okay. And I apologize, it's really hard. My iPad, oh, my iPad is like dead. And I'm trying, I gotta pull up face ID. Yeah, I'm here. Um, turn my, make sure the volume's off. Okay. 
I'm going to try to read comments from my iPad when I flip you upside down. Okay. Are you ready? Let's get started. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ooh, I'm leaning. I have to show you this camera stand. I got it. Um, so Glitter Guy had this coupon code, um, and I don't even remember where it's from, but this little doodad is awesome because I have my camera up here and I have my camera over there and it's kind of awesome. Okay, so first thing that I want to work on is my split in half cup, okay? So put my lid to the side. And for this, I'm using two different types of painter's tape. So the first one, here's how I get mine perfectly. I get a big, huge, long, giant piece, okay? And here's why. So I'm gonna put it over the middle, okay? So I got it in half. And then make it straight down the side. Oh, I need to do the curve. Y'all, the benefit to prepped cups in this situation, I don't know about y'all, but I've done cups where I have to, oh, I didn't do it long enough, come on. I've done cups where I have to tape things off, do a half and half, and I'm horrible at it. Like my tape will take off the original paint and I'm like, gosh. So I always end up like, just to play it safe, it's epoxying one side. Okay, here's the part. So to make sure you go half, take your tape and put it on the top halfway across. I mean, guesstimate if you want. All right, I'm gonna guesstimate there. And when I do that, I know where to line this side up at. All right, all right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna break it. This side, I'm still gonna take this side off because I get so much off spray. All right, I lost my comments. Comments, where are you at? No. I'm just protecting it because I don't know. I can't tell so this one I didn't tape it off all the way and so you can kind of see just a smidge of orange right here <laughs> oops I think only I noticed but so I measured my halfway here I measured my halfway there now I have the perfect half and half cup boom all right so by the way the lovely Rula has offered to give us her like ultimate tumbler shield package so it has one of every size and this one is a little bit big but you have to work it down in there and it covers so tumbler shields are a lifesaver because as you saw uh outside i'm horrible at cleaning up cups i hate cleaning up cups i'd rather not clean up cups so this bad boy right here protects my inside from all the spray paint and i don't have to clean up as much what what oh oops I should have put this in first. Um, if you haven't tried them, you need to try it. Because they're a lifesaver. But today, somebody is going to win a whole freaking set of them for like every cup imaginable. Okay? So at the end of the live, I'm going to find a random person. I don't know. I don't know if we'll do like a comment contest or what. But uh, Steel Magnolia is also giving away another case at the end of the live. Um, I'm, actually, I'm gonna post it after the live because I wanna go through all the comments and see um, who's gonna win, okay? All right, so cup number one is ready to go. Now, the fun part. This bad boy has to turn into this bad boy. So what I do, Oh, take my lid off. All right. I'm going to line it up around the top. 
And if anybody is horrible at straight lines, it is me, y'all. It is me. Um, Steel Magnolia may carry the shields. Um, me and Rilla have talked. Um, I know her husband's deployed, so they're really not in a, a position right now to do any like wholesaling. But I think once he returns, because we're all gonna say a nice little prayer for him, all right, safe return, that they may be interested in something like that. I feel like I'm getting too low on the edge. I am. All right. So I did the top and the bottom first because I have a top edge, I have a bottom edge, and it's going to help me keep the rest of them straight. And this, by the way, is half the size of one of these. Um, but as you can see, there's a small little piece right here, and I'm gonna show you how we do that, um, that doesn't fit the tape, but it's okay. Yeah, so prepped cups tonight are gonna go on sale. I'm gonna give you a code. Don't go anywhere. I mean, if you gotta get the kids the better something, I totally understand, just make sure you come back, okay? Um, oh, and so, uh, side note, while we're sitting here working, our container is due to arrive in LA on the 3rd. Now, back in the good old days, it took like five to seven days to get to my door, right? Thanks to COVID and all the shipping mess that is happening in the world. Um, we're looking at closer to like 10 to 14 days. Hopefully the 10, but y'all, I have seen 14 and it is quite annoying to see that. But on there, I'll have the big wine. I will have the Slim Koozies. And y'all, I have a ton of Slim Koozies. So I have like three containers coming back to back to back and all of them have twice the amount of the original one. So we're gonna be stocked on Slim Coolsies, okay? All right, there's that. Now back to the lip one. Yeah, Slims don't do this very well. That's why you gotta have the plump since they're straight. Sorry, I'm trying to read comments as I'm doing this. And uh, if I missed something, I apologize. Yes, true 22s do come prepped. Um, true 22, true 32, 24 plump, 32 plump, junior, slim, shorty, and then I have a limited supply of morning mugs that I will post later tonight. Um, yeah, I thought about black cups too. Um, I just think they'd be far less used. I don't know why. Okay, so you see I still have my one little piece right there, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a regular piece of tape around it because I don't wanna get anything on there. Okay. All right. So here's the colors we're working with. This is like her neon collection. It's electric, candy yum yum, slime time, pucker, sucker punch, sweet tart, and in the middle is cheater cheater, okay? So these are the cups that I'm going to be using. Now, instead of spray painting these, I am going to use alcohol inks, okay? To 
do the colors of each of these. Now, what I have to say is, I didn't, I did this cup. I don't like the purple next to the blue. I think it doesn't contrast enough. Um, and then also, I do like the pink on pink vinyl and the blue on blue vinyl. So these are the pink opal and the blue opal uh, vin uh, vinyl. However, I think I messed up. So I, I learned a lot from this cup. So my original, as you can see, I just picked random strips um, in my cheetah print and I cut them out, but they don't line up. So I went back, I redid it, and I'll even give you the file that I have for this where I've separated this size, this size, this size, like all of these pieces. And then that way you can take that template and go apply it to any design you want, okay? And I don't have, do I have it out here? I might have it out here. Oh, I do have it. So I lined it up. Oh, I didn't peel this yet. So this is my um, peekaboo, basically, right? The ones I'm gonna put on here before I spray paint. And then I meant to do pink and then blue, but on the ones I pre-made for y'all, I switched them. So we're gonna switch them tonight, but they line up now. So like the, the end of this, you know, spot is coming up on this. So it's like the full, it looks so much better. So just to give you an idea, these are the, the colors that I'm going to do. I'm going to start out with green and then I'm going to actually switch these two. So I'm going to do blue and then orange, then yellow, pink and purple. So that's the order I'm going to do them in tonight. A little bit different, um, but I do suggest the pink and the blue, I mean, you could do whatever color vinyl, you know, that you want, but I really kind of like the blue on blue and the pink on pink. And after tonight, you can see the pink and blue on each other, okay? So you can make that choice. Um, but that's how I choose where to put my colors. Um, I also, like I said, I wouldn't put blue next to purple. Um, the pink and orange seem to be okay together and all the others, but they're, they're very similar. So that would be my little bit of advice. So, first color is going to be green. So I'm gonna give it a little doodad. Put a green on there. I'm also gonna go ahead and get my purple for the bottom, because I can do two of them at a time. Um, let me go grab, this is a 24 plump. Sorry if I'm missing comments here, y'all, if you can help answer. Um, I'm gonna go grab my Mod Podge and a brush. Y'all, I bought so much Mod Podge by the, I said it, oh my gosh, I said, I said Mod, Mod Podge by the gallon for TumblrCon. I will be swimming in Mod Podge for ages. Okay, so again, I didn't need this. It was just to keep all my lines straight. So I'm gonna pile that up on the side. And it doesn't matter if I get it on the tape. I'm gonna rip the tape off. You don't want globs because you want it to dry, but you, you wanna make sure you got plenty. I really, really hate Mod Podge and glitter. I am totally, uh, I haven't even used, what's that stuff called now? Loctite. Oh, I used to live by Loctite, but nowadays, what am I doing, y'all? Oh my gosh, you got me talking, and now I can't think straight. Y'all got me, y'all got me something. Yeah, let me put my base color on. Y'all, y'all, y'all. All right, all right. Wipe that off, let it dry. Start with the bottom. Got me talking. Now, I don't have 
have to do the bottom because I'm gonna spray paint it black. All I need to do is the side. And I should put gloves on, but I'm not. Because I, you know, know better, but I don't. Y'all got me talking. Not paying attention. Nobody said nothing. Ooh, it's like a little speck of tape. Alright. Burp, 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 burp. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're putting glitter on top of it. Nobody's going to notice. Yeah, y'all wonder what I'm doing. Yeah, I ain't no professional here. I'm just making it as I go. Hey, but the good news, oh y'all. I was up here this weekend prepping for, you know, the live tonight, cause these things take a lot of time. Don't get me wrong. So I was up here prepping the different steps so that, you know, we can get through this whole cup together. Now let's put some on there. Actually, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more. I see some wet spots. All right, green. And so I have, what, one, two, three. This will be number four plus the original. So I have five of these cups total. And like I said, I'm gonna start selling these suckers. I'm gonna put them on my website. Not steel magnolia, little hams. L I L, Lil Hams in a cup. How'd y'all come up with your names? Oh, my battery's low. Why is my battery low? Don't worry, not on the camera, just on the comments. How did y'all come up with your business name? I'll tell you mine while y'all catching up typing. So, my last name's Hamilton. And so, one day I was sitting in class. I was a teacher down here in Texas. Um, and my kids were, I don't know, taking a test or something. And I was thinking of business names and they're my little, my kids are my little hams, right? Cause you know, like little stinkers, little hams. And don't ask me where in a cup came from. Like, I don't know. I was started designing two little pigs sitting inside a teacup. I don't know, but it stuck. Here it is, little hams. All right, like I said, I don't have to go down to the bottom because I'm gonna spray paint it anyway. Okay, the purple, you're always barefoot. Well, you named your Jeep Aquaman. Like that's Kimberly. My Jeep, which is sitting outside. Oh, we should've saw it. Um, it's called Loham. So I don't know why it stuck out with me. One of the cup, one of the companies that orders from us, um, I see her name come across on the labels, and I think it's so cute the play on words. It's like finally made it, like finally made it, finally made it. It's adorable. Parker and Jordan, one of the best. Salty Grog Designs hat. Two Ginger Studio. Magnolia B, aww. Banana Crafts. I love how y'all are so creative. Okay, so again, don't make it too thick, right? You want it to dry. This one first it's probably the driest first
Sorry, I'm drinking. Oh, by the way, have you all seen this cup? It came up on my memories as today was the day I made it. <laughs> Y'all know I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is my fave. And yes, that is my chicken nugget in my Chick-fil-A sauce. And I took a picture and I put it on a water slide. <laughs> okay, it's actually a mommy and me set. Only my kids loved it as much as I do. My oldest kind of does. Okay. So, here's where we're going to get fancy, y'all. What color is down here? What color is this? Pink? We're doing pink? Yeah, pink. Alright. Pink. Mm, where'd the little doodad go with the pink on it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, here's my suggestion for you. I take this and I'm going to put it on the edge of my little stopper, okay, about halfway around, just on the like half of it. I don't know if you saw. Can you see the camera? I only put it on half. Now that half I'm going to take and I'm going just to just, first of all, get it out, okay, an edge. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to cover it with black paint, so if you get some on there, it's totally okay. It'll blend. It'll hide. Just, you know, still be a little careful. And that's the joy of prepped cups is you really don't even have to dab. You can just swipe if you got enough ink on there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Finally getting Chick-fil-A. Who doesn't have chick Oh, man. I think I had it. Y'all, I'm trying to be good and not eat out. Working out in the mornings. And if y'all want to follow along, I totally am like posting on my Instagram. Go find me. But it is so hard not to eat Chick-fil-A. trying to find all the white spots some spots are lighter than others so I'm just trying to even out the playing field here all right I'm gonna let that one is that the right one that one dry Oh yeah, that would work. Little makeup wedges. Yeah, that would work too. I just have a boatload of these from TumblrCon. Uh -huh. Oh man. I got it on there. But you guys can only imagine the amount of glitter Betty has on her. <laughs> okay. Now we're doing blue. So this little brush thing is what we got from TumblrCon. Um, they were like cute little packs we had. Painter's tape. It's not an even number. Um, like it was like point nine and 1.8 inch I think is what it was oh man I just that's the second time I've done that all right I remember just to do the edge the half of it all right TumblrCon 21 I don't know blame COVID we're waiting to see kind of like what happens with the world before we start. I know, I think, as long as they'll let us have glitter where I want it. Because I want to do it a little bit different than last year. I want everybody to be able to come, whether they do a class or not, just to, you know, be there, experience it. Alright. Go 
back and do this the light spots. Like I said, you can see I got a little bit on like the green glitter, but it'll hide with the black spray paint, so don't worry. Okay, sorry, it's catching up on comments. I got blue in there. Alright, so I don't know if you can see. Can you see? There's like a little baby tiny little edge and you just kind of butt your brush up to it. Myself putting my hand in the Mod Podge on the back side. It's a lot harder when I gotta do it under a camera. That side we don't care, right? We can get it on there. But we wanna keep it thin so that it can dry. We're gonna make it even so you don't get blotchy. Sorry, I'm not looking at comments right now. Uh. Put my finger in it. You know, this is my fifth one do of doing this. I've never put my finger in it. Today, not my day. Okay. I got stuff all over this, so let's scratch that one. Alright, we got pink. Y'all, you know me and pink. Ooh, I love it. I try not to actually, I don't want to bang it because I don't want other colors to get in there. So I'm going to actually do it over on my discard pile. For some reason, this direction is harder for me. I'm not sure why. If y'all can't tell, I can feel, like when I do this, I'm like jabbing it and I can feel that edge where the glitter already is. I am using Vixen Glitter Co. I really, so let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, don't be shocked. It is a little more on the higher end price wise. Okay. But it is good stuff. And she, um, the bags that it come in, comes in are like these like super bags that don't hold glitter. Right. So when you dump them into your container, they just, fall right in like there's nothing left stuck to the bag so so many of my glitters you you get them in and you're so excited and you waste so much because they're stuck on the bag but she's got these like I said super duper bags what are you doing Betty Bell 
while she cuddling in her blankie. Um, and so, yeah. Did I get there? Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Yeah, y'all, you get what you pay for. You know, you sometimes you pay for the cheap stuff, yeah. You get the cheap stuff. Now there's some things that don't matter, but to me, glitter is not one of them because you lose sparkle. Well, and you know, like some glitters, I don't know if y'all noticed this, like craft store glitters, those take so many coats. Y'all, I know, I figured out why. I never put a thing in. Oh, hey, look, oh, I can hold it. <clears throat> hey, Organdy, look at you, making a live. Here's what I'm making. This right here is one of them. We're using prepped tumblers and talking about why they're awesome. There's a spot, there's a spot. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to set that down for a minute. Y'all, you want to hear, like, the saddest thing today? So, I needed more pool noodles. And it's the end of summer, so there's no more pool noodles. Like, Walmart sold out, right? Your 50-cent pool noodles are sold out. And the only place I could find them was Dick's Sporting Goods. And, y'all, they were $4.99. What is happening why is a pool noodle $4.99? I'm so mad Walmart didn't have them. And I needed them desperately, so I had to do it. It was just sad. It was sad. Okay, so I pulled that middle one off, right? That's white. And we're going to do that next. Yeah, all of these color, colors are beautiful. I love, I love her neon collection. And y'all, just so you know, I don't get paid to say I love glitter companies. You know, sometimes I buy them, sometimes they send me them. I just give my honest opinion. You love them or leave them. All right, this is Cheater Cheater. And this is, it's like super fine. I love it. And it's got like all the colors of the rainbow, which I love because you know how like some opals, they pull more pink or yellow or whatever. No, not this. This is beautiful every color. Okay. There's my old plate. All right, are you ready? I know it's taking a while, right? Not really. It's like so satisfying. They might not have a neon pack. Maybe she's sold out, I don't know. No, my containers I get from Amazon. Um, they're four ounce. Uh, I don't know what they call them. I, I've been buying them for years. That's what all my glitter goes in. Yeah, my iPad, um, which is where I see my comments, or is that 1%? So I'm about to stop seeing comments, y'all. Okay. Close up my white, because you don't want to contaminate the white. Okay. So, this is the fun part, y'all. The fun part. 
We got a yellow and we got an orange. Okay. Fun time. Now you have a double edge. <sighs> I glitter all up in there. I'm going faster than I normally would. I usually let it dry for, you know, a few minutes before I do the next coat, but for the sake of y'all's time, we are just blowing through it. Okay, so again, I'm only going to, in smaller space this time, so I'm only going to do like not even half, but I just want to do an edge of my sponge. Okay, I don't know if you can see that's a dark one. You can see that darker, darker spot? Just doing a little edge. Uh, this one's going next to blue. And now it will, okay, so it will kind of touch, when it touches the white, there's nothing you can do. It's going to turn orange, all right? But I've got a cure for that when we do vinyl. Okay. I'm going to show you. Yeah, so if I, it's hard to do this and like get a straight line and watch comments. So if I don't get to you, I apologize. Okay. Now the other side. And my iPad died. It's plugged in. I don't know why. Trying to get it even where there's not so much like dark spots. So I'm gonna dab. Thing I like about the little sponges is they're the perfect size for this. Boom! Nice and even. Yeah, I get the orange, don't you worry. Like the orange, can you see? I don't know. The orange is totally in the white. Um, but like I said, I have a cure for that. Okay. Close that one up. Last one, yellow. Y'all, the Mod Podge is not much funner than this. Let me tell you. Okay, so again, just a tiny little piece. I don't want the middle, I want the edge of it, right? Um, and I'm gonna do the white first. Because remember, these little pieces of tape, I'm going to peekaboo. So if they're not perfect, it's okay on the edges because they're going to be painted black. Again, my iPad died. I can't see your comments. And I'm trying to do this super straight, so I apologize. Okay. And for the sake of evenness, I'm going to dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, 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 dab. Okay. Fun times. Okay, sorry. Looking up at comments. I'm trying, I'm trying. Alright. Last two glitters. Alright. I might have put way too much Mod Podge in there. Okay. So just by like before, I'm going to kind of find that edge. I'm 
and I'm not trying to get too much because I want it to dry pretty fast. Oop, I got a little too much there. Whew, hard part, white. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, ready? This is the direction I'm very bad at because my hand's backwards. And because the white is a finer color, it's also a little bit harder. There's not much of an edge like the thicker ones. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Oh, that's a lot. And I don't want that big, thick spot, so I'm just gonna lightly brush to try to thin it out. I'm not touching the edges, just the middle. thick. Okay. Got that. Sucker punch. I love this orange. It's like almost corally, but not quite. say is if I can do this anyone can do this because I do not like Mod Podge. I do not like the tedious. Y'all know what I mean. Oh hey my iPad's back on for how long? I didn't get that edge off. I know I got it too much. I'm trying to make it even so there's not big blotches. Alright. This is Pucker. I want to get all the colors back in yellow, so. All right, there you have it, y'all. Bim shakalaka. Uh, my tape I actually got at like Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay. Yeah, alcohol inks, they work great on like the prepped cups. Um, okay, what else? I'm trying to read comments. Oh, quiet is at my house? Yeah, I have to leave my house to get it this quiet. Um, yeah, the yellow, y'all. My favorite would be the pink, the yellow, the blue, and then the orange. 
I'm just not a green and purple person though. So I mean, I guess for green and purple, they're awesome, but I'm not a green and purple person. Okay, now, excuse my French, but you need to spray and seal the shit out of this. Like there's no other way to say it. I'm sorry about that. There is no other way y'all, no other way. You need to put like five good heavy duty, soak it, drench it, clear spray paint on this thing. Otherwise when you epoxy is going to run all that time and energy and the perfect lines that you just made are going to go away. So don't waste all that perfect time. Spray it, spray it so good. Y'all I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that. Okay. Oh, hey, there I am. Hey guys, how are you? Um, whoa, you're like tilting down here. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. In the meantime, I'm going to take our perfectly half and half cup and I'm going to take it outside and we are going to spray paint it. Okay, uh, my alcohol inks, I'm gonna try to answer questions. Mm, I'm gonna set some of these down. Right. While I pull the phone off. Otherwise, urgh. there we go. Hey, how are you? Um, these are just um, Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz alcohol inks. Uh, can't tell you where I got them. Probably Hobby Lobby because, well, that's where I get a lot. Quick coat. Nope, don't use quick coat. Don't use quick coat. If you rub your finger across these cups, oh, Betty's coming. If you rub your finger, y'all, I'm going to turn the lights on. I've never been here this late. <laughs> Hold on, let's turn the lights on in the warehouse. Never been here this late. Um, yeah, uh, I use Rust-Oleum clear spray paint, but yes, use spray paint. If you rub your finger across this, you're gonna spread your glitter, okay? Don't touch. You're like, you know like your kids when you're like, don't touch, and they're like, touch, I touched. Yeah. Oh, hey, I can see out here now. Don't rub your finger across it. You have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to spray paint. Okay, I got too many things in my hand. Hold on. Set you down. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Put you up here. Hey, how are you? Okay. Here's what I use. Matte, clear, Okay, yes, one coat of glitter. That's all you need. One coat of glitter. You had a base coat, nothing pops through. Again, why I love more expensive glitter is because you need one coat. Cheap glitter it takes 10 coats. Try the craft store, it's the worst. Yeah, don't let your, yeah, y'all, you're about to watch this. This is what I mean by spray it, okay? Like spray it, oh, turn it down, hold on. All right, turn you down. Here's the spray booth. So I do like five coats of this and you're gonna, like it's not like, oh, spray. No, spray y'all, spray, spray. I said spray. Did you spray? Spray again. Okay. Do that four more times, four more, okay? think I was kidding no I did not just put all that work in for nothing no 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 okay also reason number two you gotta have good glitter is because that much clear would dull your glitter don't dull your glitter get good glitter okay you mind my nose ring okay so where's that oh my nose ring yeah uh, I took that out when I got pregnant because I was like no you can't have nose ring yeah well second kid doesn't matter you all know that um okay let me get my orange All right, so today we are using this one, which one is it? Real orange, okay? Yeah, spray booth, so I'll get you a spray booth. Maybe I would, okay, we're gonna do a poll when we're done. How many people would buy a spray booth? Because I got connections, y'all. Okay, very important, just happened. Make sure your tape is really pushed down. You don't want, like push it, push it, push it. No gaps, right? I want a funkiness. Even though we're covering it in glitter, you will still see it. All right. 
I'm gonna actually get an extender. So y'all know PVC pipes, right? And you got your little connectors on the bottom. Um, Truly Divinal has some really, uh, they're in my, in the craft room, but I also use just the, the female, right? And that's how I screw it and say, well, as you can see, my hand's really close. I'm going to get spray paint all over it. So get a really long piece of PVC pipe and put your connector on there. And this is what I call my extender, right? Because now I've extended it. You see how big it is? I can hold it way out there and I'm not going to get spray paint on me. Fun tip of the day. Y'all, this piece is coming up. What is wrong with it? It just keeps popping up. I gotta do it first. Okay. And thanks to my tumbler shield, I now have no cleanup on the inside. So, disconnect it, all right? Sorry, I'm trying to read comments and do this. One long. Um, spray booths. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. These spray booths have been through it all. These were from TumblrCon. Ooh, low battery. Ooh. Um, spray booths. Y'all need one. Okay, so, like I said, spray paint those. Spray it, y'all. The clear spray paint. Gotta spray it. Spray it some more. Spray it a few more times. It's hot out there. All right. Okay, back inside. So, for the sake of time, we're gonna do, change things up a little bit because I've been going, what time is it? Oh yeah, I've been going for a quick minute. Um, this one already sprayed the bejesus out of it. Okay, so that one's ready for epoxy. Um, we're gonna skip epoxy today, but I'm gonna give a total shout out counterculture because we now carry counterculture um we have half gallon fast set and we have um what do we have half gallon fast set one gallon artist resin and we got quick coat all right let me let me saddle you back up here and we're going to talk real quick about how i put my vinyl on and spray it but i also have one that's almost done and we're kind of going to skip through some steps here for the sake of time, because I know y'all, whoo, there we go, want this discount code. Okay, so, real quick, the glittering process took a while, longer than I expected, but I was talking, so believe me. All right, I cannot see comments, so I apologize. Dump my glitter, I forgot some over here. Save the glitter. Can I start a campaign that says save the glitter? Okay, so let's start with this one real quick. So this was one I had done earlier, so it's nice and dry. Peel my paint off. See, I did not use tumbler shield and it's all a mess inside. And I wish I would have. What was I thinking? And the lovely Miss Rula is going to give away um, one of her ultimate sets, like one of everything, to somebody in the live. So, here's the good part about prepped cups. You're not gonna peel off the white, cause it's on there. So, I got my half and half, and I'm going to put glitter on it. Um, again, for the sake of time, I'm actually gonna skip that one today. Well, I could use hairspray. Just hairspray it. Just so you can see. Because, y'all, Halo is something. It's something good. And y'all need Halo. I'm about out of. So, Suave number 10. Okay. It's my new go to. And spray it. Don't let it dry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I just want you to see how beautiful Halo is. It is something special. And these are the colors I used on that cup and I'll show you what it looks like under the epoxy. Because Halo is 
Me and Halo are friends. I hope they get me some more. fancy way of getting it on the bottom. <laughs> Alright. So, that's that. Y'all, do you see this sparkle on this? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And the orange. Oh. Y'all don't even know. So here's what it looks like under epoxy. And um, I can post where I got this file. It was um, on Etsy. I think it was LV Halloween. And there were, I think this is like the one and only option. Um, and then I can't remember where I got Witchy Woman. It's on Etsy somewhere, but I can post links um, after the live. But there you go. That is what it looks like under epoxy, just to give you guys some perspective. Like it still sparkles, it's amazing. Oh, it's so amazing. So much awesomeness. So little time, y'all. Okay, so I'm kind of going to do this in little bit steps. Um, I might not do the whole thing. So I have my thing. I'm going to do pink um, vinyl here on the, the blue and blue on the pink. These are pink opal and blue opal. Um, I use permanent vinyl. Okay, I usually use 651. I was in a bind. I went to Hobby Lobby because y'all know how I feel about Hobby Lobby. Um, I marked the back though, so I knew which was the top and which was the bottom because I want these to all line up and connect. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that as soon as I get glitter off of everything. Is there such thing? No, there is not. Okay, so clear contact paper. Um, I think Amazon. I got a huge roll of it for TumblrCon. Whoa, that's not straight. That's okay. Yeah, y'all, you gotta try what I just did. Okay. Come on, Nikki. Okay, so that's ready. This is the top, so I wanna do the top one first. So I cut a line so I would know where the four little pieces are and know where to stop and again i can't i got this file on etsy so i can't give you the cheetah pattern but i can give you the dimensions of these squares if you have any desire to make your own um and then that way you can just lay it on top of whatever it is you want and it's the perfect size I'm going to use the straight side. There's so much glitter everywhere. Should have done it on a non-glittered surface. It's okay. Yeah, Hobby Lava Vinyl is not my favorite, but it's for a peekaboo, so I don't, I have 631, and I hate it. I have, to, okay, so here's, here's, let's put it this way. 631 Vinyl, oh, I didn't weed that one. Oh, well, I'll weed it when it gets on there. 631 vinyl right doesn't stick very well well the problem is is the transfer paper it doesn't want to go to it and then it doesn't want to stay on the cut and it's just a huge pain so i go to permanent well permanent's almost too strong right so then you just kind of get the crappy permanent and it's like better than 631 but not as good as 651 Sorry. Okay. So I'm gonna have a starting point, which I'm gonna do it this direction. And now these ones are a little bit smaller than this space. And I did that for a reason, um, because I wanted to leave room for error on my tape job and my peekaboo and my black spray paint, right? And so I do leave a little bit of space. Oops. A little bit of, that's a lot of space. I am not gonna get any straight. Oh. 
there's the beginning. Okay. And I also left it a little bit shorter than my total length around because then that way I can find where it started and ended for each one of these. I feel like that went somewhere. I don't know where that was. <laughs> okay, so see how there's a little bit of a gap? That's how I know where to start and finish. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm not seeing any comments. Um, okay, so now, I'm going to put this on and again I marked it this is the top right so that little gap where there's nothing that is where I'm going to line this up and it's going to line up perfectly and it's going to match and I told myself I was going to pre-weed and do all this and clearly that did not happen This is why, uh, y'all, the girls that work here, they know how much I hate vinyl. Pretty much, if I can't put it on a water slide, I do not do it. So, for me to do vinyl is like you're witnessing a miracle here. I hate vinyl. Um, Okay. Ugh, so yes, I'm gonna vinyl this whole cup. I'm not peekabooing the blue and pink section though. So what I'll do is, and I can show you, is I'm going to, when I'm done, tape it off. I can't tape it off like as soon as I put the vinyl on because then I won't know where to line up the next one. So see, uh, that's the top. And I need a little bit thicker, probably. Can I throw that away? Can I reuse it? Oh, Nick, you're not thinking today. Uh, how big do I need it? Okay. Okay. No, I hate vinyl in all aspects of vinyl. I hate cutting it. I hate putting it on my mat. I hate weeding it. I hate transferring it. I hate, I just, I don't hate vinyl. I think I've just done it for so long. I'm just burn out on vinyl. Okay. What is this? What is this, y'all? I got pieces of this. Was this the top? This was the top. Was this the beginning? I think this was the beginning, right? Because that was the separator. All right. Well, say a prayer that I'm right. Now, this piece does go all the way to the edge. This is not, that's not the beginning. Where's the beginning? That's the beginning? I think that's not the beginning. I think I put this upside down, y'all. I really think I did. I almost did it the first time. Guarantee I did it. No, I didn't. Look, see, that lines up. Ha ha, go Nikki.
this. Oh, I need to move up. That one's a little low. And line it up completely straight. Okay. Push it on down. Sorry, I'm trying to look at comments. Okay, so I'm gonna do this last one and then I'll show you how to do the rest. Really quick, um, I'm not gonna actually do it. So peel off my second strip. Sorry, like I said, I cut a straight line. I know you can't see it with the white on white. I, um, I cut a straight line so I knew where to, to divide it at. To, to, to divide it. So much glitter stuck to it. It might not even stick to it. Sorry, my transfer tape is not very sticky with all this glitter on it. So it's taking a little longer than that. Eh, I lost a piece. Okay. So again, there's my little gap. So that's how I know where my beginning and end is. And this was the top. There looks like the piece that matches. So I'm gonna line it up. Starting there. So like I said, on my first one I did, I didn't cut my vinyl like this, where it all lined up. Um, so you can see the difference. So like, see, there's the, the top of one piece, but it's not, they're not the same. I just picked random pieces and put them, so they're random patterns. This one, I'm making the, the pieces like together line up. Oops. Now, these aren't gonna matter because you have the white, right? It's gonna separate them so much that you're never gonna have one of these and one of these connect, um, at least on my pattern. So, I would, I'm gonna kind of fast forward here. I'm gonna, I would continue with another white. I would put my blue then here, and then in my last white here. Um, what I do like to do is because this piece and this piece aren't really associated with each other, so that I don't have a straight line all the way down, I'll offset this one and maybe like put it over here, right? So then that would be the empty patch. That way it's not, it's a little less noticeable. Once all my vinyl is on my cup, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to tape off just the blue and the pink, right? Because I want to protect that. I don't want it to be black. So make sure all the little edges of vinyl are covered okay and then this piece right here so what i've discovered is you can either i do have this in the file for the whole thing as a, as a section um so you could print a piece of vinyl to put there what i do is i know that it is one of these squares these little squares so what i like to do is print or cut me off just a I'm not gonna do it print me off a piece of this or cut me off a piece of this um, and then just 
lay a strip there because all I want to do is protect this from the black spray paint. So I've got to find something. So either use vinyl or use your transfer tape, whatever it is. Um, make sure all your edges of your tape, of your vinyl, everything's pushed down. Um, you don't want the black spray paint to seep underneath it. Okay. Once you do that, go, once you finish it, okay, leave the bottom blank because you want that black. See, it's black, okay. Go out and spray paint it black, okay. Then, just to show you, for the sake of time, here's one that I did earlier. I've already spray painted it black. I'm going to peel off the painter's tape. So here's the difference, just so you guys can see, in blue on blue and pink on pink, and pink on blue and blue on pink, right? There's the difference in the vinyl. That was totally an accident. I did not mean to do it, but I actually kind of love it. Um, here's also, oh, I might have messed that up. My piece that I put on there. Okay, that was my little clear uh, tape. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, and y'all make sure this dries. You don't want to not let it dry. Now what I would do is I can go pick, I hate doing this because ah, I scratch. Anybody has a better way of doing this? This is the downside with permanent vinyl. They are harder to get off, but like I said, I use the one from Hobby Lobby. So it's usually not quite as tough. Wow. It has proven me all kinds of wrong today. I think I might have let it sit too long. This was from over the weekend. Okay, so you'll peel it off and that's how you get all of your peekaboo to poke through. So like I was saying earlier, if you got your alcohol ink, you know, to spread into the different colors, it's okay because the black spray paint covers little sections. The way I did mine, I didn't make it as big as the whole thing. I made it a little bit shorter so that there would always be that little black line to separate it. Okay, so just to try to do another one. Okay, maybe it was just that piece of vinyl. Okay, there's a piece of orange. I'm trying to find... There's the yellow. I got all these little pieces. Okay. Uh, let's find a nice purple to pull. And there's the purple. Okay. So again, sake of time, I'm not going to sit and pull all of them with you. Um, Y'all, I like this blue on pink. I like that. I like it. Okay. So, that is what I have for you today. Again, this was the final, this was the final um, of what we were working on, but these are very long cups. Okay, turn you up. Hey guys, okay, how much? Oh, 11% battery. Y'all, no, look at me. Look at from the time I start to the time I end. Ooh, craftiness takes a beating on you. Okay, so. What else we got to talk about? Um, we need a Tumblr Shield winner. Tumblr Shield winner. Um, I'm just going to scroll through comments and I'm going to pick somebody. They're going to win a ultimate package. One of every Tumblr. Oh, I'm at the beginning. Woo, that's a little far. Um, one of every Tumblr Shield, right? Those are these little rubber things that you put inside your cup so that you don't have all the spray paint and 
jazz, right? You put it in there, you protect it. She's going to give you one of every single size. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? Let's find somebody re who's still on. We have 524 people, so let's see. I'm gonna to count to 10, and the person who is commenting on my screen, it might not be your screen because, you know, delays. Um, the person who's commenting, when I count to the number 10, the person, I'm going to choose that person. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Betty, come here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Come here. Come here. She's gonna tell us when. Come here. Come here. Betty, pick a person. Pick number 10. Come here. Who's number 10? Ready? 10. Christina Brewer Hillard. Okay? I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta, I pinned it, right? Christina Brewer Hillard. Betty says, you are the, is she this winner? Yeah. She is the Templar Shield winner, okay? Uh, Christina, if you can email me, okay, and I will get all your info over to Rula, um, info at thesteelmagnolia.com, if you can please, please email me so that I can get all of your information um, and get those sent out to you, okay? All right, um, as far as the case goes, you know what? I was going to go through comments and just pick somebody. I'm, I was going to do it later. I'm just going to do it right now. Okay, let's do it the same way we did before. Okay, stay with it the same way before. Betty, are you gonna pick this one? Are you gonna pick it? Okay, so Betty says number 14 this time. Okay, 14 is going to win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13 and are y'all commenting 14 Renee Cox Renee Cox Cox spot Renee Cox spot you are winning a case of prepped tumblers okay so again Renee if you could please email me info at the steel and you can get your case of tumblers okay and for the rest of you who did not win I am I apologize I appreciate you sticking with us and and staying here and all that um, you guys are here for the discount code and the discount code is prep the number one P R E P one K five letters so P R E P one letter one number one sorry number one long night um if you wait just a little bit i'm going to put up the white morning mugs if you're interested in those um i have a couple hundred of them i think um i will get those uploaded as soon as i get all this cleaned up um give me like 30 minutes or so okay and i'll get those up i don't think i have a stock photo so pay attention but they'll be in the prepped collection on the web page okay um, I know she's trying not to eat me she's sleeping y'all she's sleeping are you sleeping yeah it's been a long day we've been here for 12 hours y'all okay yeah bulldog butt all right guys thank you so much for tuning in um, and that code prep one is good until Friday at midnight central time that's where we're at central time um, it is good till then so if Friday's payday you can totally wait um, yes it's been fun y'all it's been so much fun I'm gonna try to do another one of these say two weeks however um, I will be traveling back home to Cincinnati for my dad's surgery so I'll be going there I'm not sure if I'll get another live out beforehand, but if not, I will do one as soon as we get back, okay? Um, Nikki, the discount code is good until midnight Friday, okay? So prep, P-R-E-P, one. Oh, I didn't tell you what it's good for. Oh, hey, so prep cups 
are, I think, 75 cents more than a regular cup, well, guess what? I'm giving you a dollar off every prep cup, which means you're still getting 25 cents off, and I did all your prep work, okay? So, where are you going? So, dollar off every single prep cup that you put in your cart. Um, if there's any issues, let me know. If you are local, please email us so that we can help you because you, you can't use two codes, it's difficult, right? So email us um, and we can help you with that. Um, the discount is a dollar off prep cups, all of them, any, no limit, okay? Let us do all your prep work for you. A um, dollar off those, all right? Holler when you're here, we'll do lunch. Ugh, girl, I've gotta take him to physical therapy, gotta hang with dad. Um, I'm only there for a couple days while my stepmom is out work. Yes. Amy, how did I not know you were from Milford and you were at ToddlerCon? Like, how do we not know this? All right, guys, it's been a long day. We are headed home. Betty says she is tired. She's done. Is she done? She looks done. All right, guys, you guys have a great night. Um, Christina and Renee, please email me so that we can get you your prizes. The rest of you, Use prep one, and I'm going to go load those morning mugs right now. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good night.